Uh, hello, everybody on YouTube. My name is uh, Trevor, or you can call me Electric. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Electric S45. And anyway, um, this is a new game I got. It's called LA Noir, Noir, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I just thought it was a fairly interesting game. Uh, at the time of me speaking right now, I have beat it, and I'm currently on my second playthrough. But this is like my first ever. This what you're watching is me first picking up the game, and uh, that kind of scared me when I first did that. That rat that came out of the garbage can. But anyway, um, it's it's he a heavily story driven game. It's a uh, it's not really an action game. I mean, it has shooting sequences and chase scenes, but that's not why you play this game. You play it because of the story and uh, the atmosphere, I guess. And uh, there's like uh, there's like two main things you do in this game. One is you investigate a crime scene, which is what I'm doing now, and one I get. When you get close to a clue that you can pick up, or something you can inspect, and maybe that would be a clue, it uh, the music will like chime or something like that. And uh, I really do not know what I'm doing here, uh, when I'm doing this, but uh, it's it's a uh, it's a fairly fun investigating crime scenes. Anyway, that's the first main part. The second main part of the game is interrogating suspects which I do not I don't believe I uh, show any of that in this video but basically you go up to a suspect that you're gonna question and you ask him a question and uh, you have to judge by their face facial features whether that is a truth or a lie and lie has two options you can doubt them which basically you're calling them out on a lie without any evidence and you can basically just straight out say they're lying with the lie with the lie uh, option and uh, you have evidence to support that so and uh, truth means that you believe they're telling the truth and each 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 answer that they give has a specific right re, you know response to it or that will give you more information and uh, right here, I am currently inspecting, coming up here to get this gun, and it literally, it it took me like 10 minutes to figure out what to do here, because I did not know what was going on. So I'm going to jump cut, kind of right here, and I uh, finally found the gun. But as you can see, you're supposed to judge people's uh, facial features on like whether they're lying or not, and you can tell, you can, I don't know if you can or not, but... You can I can obviously tell that the faces are pretty much, not arguably, they pretty much are the best faces ever to be in a video game. But what I mean by that is they are the most realistic. Um, you can, uh, like, few games even have where the, the lips even match up to what they're supposed to be saying. And this is just... I mean, the graphics are nothing that special, but when it comes to the faces, they're just amazing. The reason it, for that is uh, uh, Rockstar, they uh, use this uh, this new technology, this motion capture, but it's for it's motion capture on a face. And uh, it just looks pretty much amazing. And that was the main draw for this game, because I remember back when I first played Mass Effect years ago, uh, oh, that'd be like three years ago. That I thought the faces were amazing in that, and uh, this is just leaps and bounds ahead of, of that, and it just astounds me what technology can do. But anyway, I'm this is uh, this right here. Your notebook is how you keep track of uh, clues and whatnot, and uh, and people and locations. And obviously, by what I said right there. But yeah, I'm inspecting this uh, this crime scene where uh, 
this guy got shot twice in the head and I had to retrieve the gun for these two detectives because I'm just a lowly street cop and uh, my partner right here he doesn't really give a shit he just wants to go home bang his wife whatever and I'm like no I want to become a detective so I'm gonna go find this gun owner and beat the fuck out of him see he's he's an underachiever he's obviously smokes a lot of pot yeah I, I like foot, feet up my ass so anyway and you can pick up little shit like this and it doesn't even matter I don't even know why I'm picking that up right now. I don't even look stupid. Quit. And then I'm just having fun. I'm acting like I'm painting. But anyway, um. Back to this game. Um. As far as story wise goes, yeah, it's a, it's a heavily story driven game. Um. But the ending, for me, anyways, was kind of disappointing. Um, and it was okay in, in some ways. Um, I'm not going to spoil it for anybody, but I just didn't like the ending too much. And these the, these newspapers, they let you glimpse into this other like half of the story that's going on, which involves which mainly involves this 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 kid, this student, this medical student named uh, what was his name? I don't know, Sheldon, and Doctor Fontaine, which is that guy in the coat. And whenever you pick up those newspapers and further inspect them, it goes to a cutscene like this, which doesn't really matter. You just collect them for the newspaper, which uh, which uh, is an achievement. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty cool game. Um, personally, I would wait for the price to drop on it. I mean, it's 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 a good game and everything, but just because the faces are amazing doesn't justify uh, a buy for me. But I bought it, so I don't know. I was just wanting to play a new game. But uh, this is probably the only video of this game I'm gonna do, and I it's it's gonna go for about like 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. So I understand if you want to close out of the video. But anyway, I'm gonna keep talking until I got nothing to talk about. Um, recently I've been playing a lot of a uh, Oblivion. And uh, which is the Elder Scrolls for Oblivion, and that game is just amazing. I can, I'll probably never stop playing that all until Skyrim comes out. But um, I'll probably put some Oblivion videos up on here. So if you like my videos at all and you are interested in watching an Oblivion bit video by me, just uh, subscribe or whatever. And uh, what else? Oh, E3 next month. I think it starts June 6th. It's going to be interesting. Um, Nintendo's supposed to reveal their new console. Um, which is probably going to be outdated by the time the 360 and PS3. The next, or I guess it wouldn't be 360 or PS3, but the, by the time the next Xbox and PlayStation come out, it'll be outdated. Which doesn't really matter because all consoles are going to be out. Or, always outdated when it comes to PC gaming, but I can't afford good enough PC, so. Um, but yeah, cool things I'm looking forward to at E3. Um, I know every every douchebag and their grandmother is going to be talking about it, but Modern Warfare 3. Um, there's like a big leak. I'm looking forward to some actual gameplay of it. Um, and I, to be honest, um, it's it's probably not going to be that great of a game, but I'm going to buy it anyway just because of the single player. Because I just got done playing Modern Warfare 2, again, uh, the single player, and uh, and it was it was one of the most amazing. It has the most amazing moments in video games. Um, it has it yeah. As far as story goes, it's okay. You know, you're chasing guys, you're chasing terrorists or whatever. But it's just like when uh when you're in, I think it's Washington D.C. or something, and that EMP goes off and helicopters start raining. Every time I I play that part, I'm just like, oh my god, this is awesome. And uh, but yeah, Modern Warfare Three. Um, 
not so much looking forward to the multiplayer. Uh, and due to the main fact that every Call of Duty, almost every Call of Duty multiplayer is just the same multiplayer but with a different skin. And uh, it's getting kind of tiring. I think people are eventually going to start getting tired of it. But I was thinking about it earlier today that one way that Infinity Ward or what's left of Infinity Ward that's working on the game can uh, revive the multiplayer is I know I've uh, I've always said that multiplayer should never have vehicles unless it can be done right but this is pretty much the only way that they can save multiplayer in uh, Call of Duty is to put vehicles in it because uh, it, it, it's surprising how it adds a whole what like how much a vehicle can change uh, gameplay and stuff either that or have a massive amount of players in a server which would make it laggy as shit uh, most, more than likely which would be not good but anyway enough about Call of Duty what else is coming out Ooh, um, looking forward to some Battlefield 3 for footage I know it's a whole bunch of shooters but Battlefield 3 it looks downright amazing it's going to be one of the best games of this year I think it comes out later this year and uh, of course Mass Effect 3 I'm a big Mass Effect fan so um, and I mean I pretty much know what is going down in Mass Effect 3 from what I read in Game Informer and stuff there probably isn't going to be anything completely new that they're going to release at A3 probably just like a trailer or something like that and uh what's the other series oh yeah I talked about it uh the Elder Scrolls Skyrim Skyrim it's probably gonna be a life waster for me it's uh I'm gonna spend probably a hundred hours before on that game it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be downright amazing um uh, what else what else Oh, Gears of War 3. I participated in the beta of Gears of War 3, and it was interesting. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't have any beta videos, unfortunately. I'm sorry if you wanted me to upload some of that. And, uh, I don't know, there really isn't anything else I can think of that I'm excited for. But for E3, except for uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations, it'd be cool to see an actual demo or a trailer of that. And uh, maybe the next Dead Rising, which is like, I forgot what it's called, but you play uh, Frank West again. And this is just a shot in the dark, but it would be really cool if they announced Grand Theft Auto V. I know I'm naming off like big blockbuster games, but I think Grand Theft Auto V would make E3 awesome if they announced just announced it, you know? Because I th I thought Grand Theft Auto IV was awesome, but then again, it doesn't take much to entertain me. So um, anyway, this video is running a little long. I'll show you a little bit of the driving here, and uh, the driving is very good in this game. I thought. Uh, very intuitive, very uh, easy to control the car, and uh, I think I'll actually let it go because there's a a brawling sequence up here, and I'll like I'll show you the brawling uh, part of the game if you haven't tuned out already. But uh, oh, maybe a next Splinter Cell at E3, that'd be cool. Uh, or it could be gay like Double Agent. I don't know if anybody follows the series, but I'm like a die-hard uh, Splinter Cell fan. Whenever they come out with a collector's edition, I've always had that. Like, uh, I've got the first Splinter Cell, uh, Pandora Tomorrow, and then they came out a collector's edition of Chaos Theory that I had to get. Then they came out a collector's edition of uh, Double Agent, which was not the best game in the world. And then Conviction came out with a collector's edition, which made me highly disappointed that they didn't come out with, like, the, they were, it was supposed to be a uh, a character like a statue like little action figure of Sam Fisher but it, I I don't think it ended, they I think they kind of canceled that and like replaced it with some gay like USB type thing that you yeah I don't know you can research that if you want but yeah I got the collector's edition of Conviction too and uh, I'm looking uh, they're not gonna stop the series I'm guessing 
pretty sure they're going to add at least maybe like two more Splinter Cell games. But it kind of, I don't know, it kind of feels like uh, Splinter Cell's being taken over by Assassin's Creed when it comes to Ubisoft, anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm highly looking forward to the next Splinter Cell. This because I am a huge, huge, huge fan. Anyway, uh, I'm going to this dude's apartment because the gun is registered in his name that I found that shot the dude in the face. And I go over here, see what apartment he's in. And I'm like, oh, I gotta go beat the shit out of him. And that's not his apartment, stupid. I don't know. Yeah, I, I didn't know how to play this game when I when I recorded this. But anyway, I'm knocking on his door and he's like, "The fuck, police! I didn't shoot nobody." And he's all like, "Fuck you!" And then I'm like, "Look at my face! It looks so real." And he's like, "Fuck you! You're gay." I'm gonna suck your dick. Get in here. What the fuck? All my condoms are gone. I'm gonna put it in your butt. Bend over. No, I'll put it in your butt. And then it's a brawling sequence, so you gotta beat him up so you can put it in his butt. And you just basically tap X to dodge. And you press A to hit. And you press Y to turn him around and butt rape him. And he falls on his face. Or on his back, and you gotta flip him over. And see, we're flipping him over, and we're getting ready to, to butt hump him. And uh, I gotta look around his apartment for his condoms. So that's pretty much it. That's pretty much El what Eleanor is. Um, like I said, uh, this it. I would wait for the price drop down before I got it. But if you're looking for a game like this, a heavily story-driven game that you m think you might enjoy, go ahead and pick it up. Um, it's it's a fun game. I, I don't regret my purchase, but it was, it was a fun game. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, kind of random video. If you're still watching, uh, thanks. Um, might as well go ahead and leave a comment what you thought. If you hated it, like, say fuck you. Or if you liked it, say fuck you, you know, whatever. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time.